Hey everyone, this is Mike, and uh, I am in North Carolina, in Charlotte. And right now we are hanging out at a uh, church property uh, of a friend of ours. Uh, he uh, he attends here, and uh, so they were gracious enough to let us uh, squat on their land for uh, about a week. And it is the weekend, so I uh, basically wanted to give a little update. Uh, still haven't figured out where to put this thing, but um, for now I uh, have it up. I've been putting it in the Land Cruiser and you know putting the seats down and hauling it like that, but it's getting a little cumbersome. So uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm rigging up a way to keep it here on the bumper. And uh, I did some tests today in North Carolina. It is about 70, 72 out. And it was blowing about 190 with the vacuum cleaner. Um, so I don't know what the difference is between North Carolina and Massachusetts. Maybe it's because we're on a, a lower, uh, lower on the uh, horizontal axis, but um, it's hotter for some reason. Um, so, but another thing I did is um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about um, heating uh, with solar and another way to do it is with this four inch drainage pipe you can see here it's you know there's there's two types or there's a few types but this pipe this type here does not have any holes in it uh, some drainage does and you want to make sure that you get this type of, um, of pipe if you're going to do it now I've done some testing this is going to go back to the big box store because it's not going to work for my application. But I did do some testing and um, it's about 40 degrees hotter. So it was blowing out about 110, uncoiled, and uh, you know, I had uh, paper towels uh, uh, in the one side with the vacuum cleaner hose going in. So really I don't know if a vacuum cleaner is the best way to test it. It probably isn't. But, um, you know, that's what I have with, uh, you know, being mobile. Um, so, you know, there's a couple things I want to say, too. Uh, a lot of these videos don't address it. And that is health. <clears throat> the most important things in our life is probably health. Uh, without that, nothing else matters. Um, you know, make sure that if you are building one of these boxes that you read all of the instructions and do research on the caulking and the materials and the paint that you use to uh, paint the aluminum. I don't think there's really much wrong with the glass, uh, glasses everywhere, um, or even, you know, for me, I kills the box. So, and you can see I let my kids draw on it, but um, basically health is, is an important thing and, um, you know, uh, I'm probably going to be reworking this. I'm going to let this run for a while and do some preliminary tests with it. But I'm probably going to rebuild this box. Um, this box right here is really health conscious. Uh, it's all pretty much just wood and aluminum and uh, screws. The only caulking I have is right here. Um, I just want to bring that up. I haven't seen it mentioned on anybody else's posts, uh, but I think that's a big concern that you need to be thinking about when you build these solar heaters, because you are going to be blowing this air into your uh, living area, and uh, you are going to be breathing the air. So, you know, look at the uh, spec sheets of all the products that you use. Uh, even call up the supplier and make sure that um, uh, you know. There's nothing wrong. Um, one of the materials that I was looking at at a big box store was some caulking. Um, I did not purchase that caulking, but um, it, uh, it said that in the state of California, the caulking has been known to cause, or it has, has been known, the products in the caulking have been known to cause cancer. So, you know, just one thing I wanted to add in this video. Um, and uh, you know I'll keep you guys updated as we get it put into place and uh, as I rebuild it 
So anyway, uh, from North Carolina, checking out.